Aristotle. While Plato sat inside a cave saying that to find the truth, reasoning was superior to real-world observation. His student Aristotle, however, reversed this by getting his hands dirty and dissecting the frogs and gazing at stars to understand the real world. Aristotle, who lived between 384 and 322 BCE, argued that truth is not inside us, but it's on the outside in the real world. Truth, in other words, is in the world around us. His method was evidence-based research akin to modern science. He actually went to the fields to study animals and sea creatures. He questions Plato's ideal form, saying that if a man is the model of an ideal form, who is the ideal form model of? It's the same argument, if God created us, who created God and who created the God that created God, which goes to infinity. Aristotle put human senses to work and argued that our observation of things is the best way to find the truth. He said everything in the world can be categorized by their substance, quantity, place, time, and so forth. Today, modern science classifies animals into species, earth into continents and oceans, rocks and minerals. This categorization helps humans to gain knowledge much faster and more effectively. He famously said humans are rational animals. Aristotle also said that everything has a purpose or a telos or an end goal. The purpose of this video is to educate people about philosophy. As a result, Aristotle's telos has become a branch of philosophy called teleology that looks at things through their purpose, not their essence. So when we look at a chair, we don't think of the wood and trees and forests, but we think of sitting on it. A chair is to be sat on, not considered a piece of tree. So Aristotle's telos put purpose before essence. As a result, Western philosophy is a very purpose-driven way of thinking which emphasizes something's utility or use before its essence. As a result, Western cultures value solution to problems, efficiency and pragmatism that make things better. Today, modern science develops useful technology, so it's heavily utility-based. We like useful things. The purpose of science is to develop technology to make life easier. What is the purpose of human civilization? To reach perfection, which is a kind of Aristotelian teleology. So Aristotle's telos coincided with the Christian view that we are heading towards an apocalypse or heaven, a perfectionist utopia where you are happy and blissful. In science, we are heading towards a perfect understanding of the universe and life. So telos allows us to make plans, have goals and strive towards something. Without an end goal, it is hard to motivate ourselves to do things. Just like Plato, he also set up a school called Lyceum, where he gathered all the best minds of his generations to study. One of his most famous students prior to the Lyceum was a man who took his teleological teaching to conquer the world. It was of course Alexander the Great who made it all the way to India in his attempt to conquer the world.